there is absolutely 100% a Black Widow in this box. And it's kind of freaking me out. Oh boy. I've been trying to find a Black Widow spider for months. I've searched high, I've searched low, and I've scoured the internet. And for two years, the Black Widow has evaded my capture. But today, I found them online and I've bought one. And in two weeks time, it'll be mine. Then suddenly, it hit me. I have nowhere to keep a Black Widow. I uh, need a cage, probably, I think. I should spend this time building one, but not just any cage, nay, a cage fit for a queen, a post-apocalyptic cityscape for our arachnid overlord to dominate. <clears throat> Truthfully, I have no idea what I'm doing. Spiders are cool, but black widows are the most venomous spider in North America, so I think I should probably hold it. My heart is beating so hard right now. Will this be my greatest triumph or my most costly mistake? He's only got 16,000 mm -hmm. subscribers. <laughs> he did? Guys, look at that. 16,000 subscribers on YouTube. May or may That's not it. be a Does he just suck? I think high oh. is bad. <laughs> high is bad? I think high okay. is more I narcissistic, wanna... right? Okay, I got it. So the actual cage for this has come in. <sighs> okay, great. Okay. Here's the completed cage. I'm loving this cube design. So my 3D printer is actually gonna get here in like a few days. I could literally like design it and print the box up. Okay, standard street. Nice, we'll take that. <clears throat> standard lamppost. Start with a square. Now we're done, nice, we'll take that. New York City building, add windows, add some texturing, okay. Oh, and it's done. Wow. I'm on sale. Good me. You don't even speak Korean. You're not Sonago. My thoughts for this build were post-apocalyptic sort of cityscape. And my sort of thought process was that I would kind of use a minimalist design for this area and then the Black Widow would kind of do the rest of the decoration herself. My thought was to set it up for how I thought a spider might like it, <laughs> and then allow her to be really the artist that shines through. So I actually got the idea to 3D print the street lines for this, and I really kind of like the sort of 3D pop I you know, created coming out of the street. But obviously we have to paint some of these lines yellow uh, to keep in line with an American street. And we're just gonna glue those all on there just with you know, standard stick glue, actually. And I really liked how those lines turned out so much that I ended up 3D printing uh, the walkways as well. And, and I really think that that looks very clean. So we're gonna mix up for the actual building now. I, I thought it made the most sense with the texture to kind of keep that sort of like maroon, reddish, dark brick color. So really, I want this to be fully lit up, essentially. I want you to be able to turn on the cage from the outside and all of the street lights and uh, the city sort of lights up. And I realized that if I had a ton of LEDs in here, like if I just had one bright light, it wouldn't really look real. It wouldn't look like individual rooms. So I, I wanted to close all of the LEDs. I wanted one set for a, a red LED and then another for like a glowing yellow. Spiders can't actually see red light. At least Black Widows can't. I, I thought it would be cool to sort of have red light just sort of shine throughout the cage at, at night and stuff so that the spider wouldn't be bothered by it, but we could still enjoy, uh, you know, the spider's movements. The wiring for this was a nightmare. This was my first like real project where I did any soldering. So now we're actually gonna wire up our 3D printed street lamps that are gonna go on the street. Gotta add our branding here. I like to think that one of the inhabitants of the city is on the hype train. This this girl right here, she's definitely on the hype train. Not to say that I want you to go graffiti my tag anywhere, but if you did send me a photo. We're adding all of the cute little inhabitants, epoxying them into place. I'm just so excited to see what the Black Widow how she acts, you know, around around the little miniature people. This last part, was, this was probably the most rewarding part um, of this build. I just kind of got to add some life with this uh, foliage, and that kind of ties back in with the sort of overgrown post-apocalyptic nature. And I think I, I could have dialed this a bit up more, you know, added maybe some dirt and sand and really thrown it all in there. I think there's a lot of things I could have done better on this build. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm really still 
<laughs> super happy with how it turned out. Finding a Black Widow has been ridiculously difficult. Trying to order them, I was only ever able to find babies. The one baby I got ended up dying. I only thought I was gonna be able to get a baby. I got like a nice little baby container for it, but I saw that they actually also have adults. So I got a baby and an adult. So there'll be the baby one and the adult one in the big thing. That's been complete for over two years and sitting empty <laughs> with no Black Widow. Much to my surprise, when I got this package today, two kit, it says two that there is two. I did not purchase two. I did not. I only have space for one. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with the second one. <clears throat> Here we go. <laughs> oh my God. They might just be out. And if I see a fucking Black Widow, just dart. Ooh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> we gotta chill. Okay, so. <laughs> Little piece of um cardboard there. That's fine, we're good. <laughs> All right, I just have to put my fingers in there and hope no Black Widow has gotten loose in transit. I hate this. I, I just hate this. I hate it so much. <laughs> this is the worst. Oh my, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> look, can you see? Oh my God, hang on. Okay, okay, let's breathe. Bro, they look so dope. So I have a Deathly fear of spiders. Not sure if I mentioned that, but they're so cool. So that's one, and oh my god, that's horrifying. <laughs> I'm taking sweet and sour sauce home in this. I'm not taking a, a god black widow. Oh, it's so pretty, bro. Can we get a focus? Oh, look at that. Oh my god, it's so beautiful, bro. And here's the other one. Oh, this one is moving in the baby, which is probably. <gasps> that. Oh my god, oh my god. The lid is loose on the baby, bro. You're not. You are not. Ooh, it's not clicking in. Ooh! Okay, we're good. But that one is super tight. It's like brown. Oh, it's so pretty, bro. And now it's finally time to place the Black Widow in her new home. This was certainly not the smoothest operation, but we got there in the end. Okay, there we go. Ooh! Oh my God, oh my God. There's a Black Widow. In my fucking thing, bro. Oh! So I gave Scarlett a couple weeks to settle in, and now it's time to feed her. Oh, it's gonna go right underneath it. Oh my god. It's, it's fucking. Bro. Bro. This is ridiculous. <gasps> oh! 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 Oh my god. Oh my freaking goodness. Holy. Oh, she got it. Okay, we're gonna just, we're gonna close you right on up. Oh, she's biting it. Oh, oh, it's fighting. Oh, it's angry. Oh, bro. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh, look at her just biting it, bro. <laughs> so I have some bad news. A few days ago, I noticed that the Black Widow laid an egg. Oh shit! What a shot! Oh my god! What the hell? On the off chance that this is a fertilized egg, within an incubation period of about 20 days, there could be as many as 900 baby Black Widow spiders that could absolutely get through the mesh of this cage. We have to remove this egg right now. Problem, I actually did remove the egg. It was extremely destructive. I destroyed a lot of web. And unfortunately, she's laid a secondary egg. I also have to remove this egg. So that's fun. Oh my fucking god, oh my god! Oh! Wow, she really moved. Oh! But this time, just kind of on a whim, I crumpled up a little piece of paper towel and put it in there. And to my utter amazement, she actually accepted the egg as her own. I, I can't speak to what this behavior means if, if she really mistakenly believes that this crumpled up paper towel is her egg, or maybe it's like a, a comforting thing for her. I don't know, but look at these two side-by-side -side shots. The paper towel clearly falls on the ground here. She has repositioned the paper towel egg to the exact same position that the egg was in initially in, which is <laughs> fucking amazing. I feel like I might 
have discovered this. Did people know that you could like switch out a Black Widow's egg? Like, how would you know that? Let's try illuminating her. Oh my God, look at all that web, bro. So I didn't want to do this at all. <laughs> But I saw that you liked the video. I saw that you liked the video. I read a ton of stories about necrotizing flesh, having weird like muscle paralysis for months after from getting bit by these. This is extremely real, what I'm about to do, and it's horrifying to me. I'm a trained professional. I have a medical team on standby outside. <laughs> Just believe me, okay? There's a whole, this is a whole production. Step one, open the lid. Step two, take, see what the vibe is. <laughs> That's a big step. Let's see what the fucking vibe is. Okay. Ooh, she's moving. All right, we're good. Wow, the adrenaline is fucking insane right now. I'm super shaky. Okay. Ooh. She looks fairly chill, which bodes well for us. My heart is beating so hard right now. Oh, there it is. Okay, relax, we're good. Uh, oh, fuck, 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 oh, 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 okay, okay. <laughs> I'm really not playing this up. I'm really not. Like, oh my god. Do I have to do it again? It was on my finger. I know it was like a quarter of a second, but it did not seem like the vibe. She came down to like see what was good with my hand, felt my hand for a brief moment. She's like, oh f that. And she went back up. Oh sh I gotta keep her off me because she knows my skin and knows that that is not the move. We got away with it. It was on me. It touched my skin. It touched my finger, you fucks. Okay? That counts yo um so i'm gonna keep it 100 i've been kind of going through it these past two years like kind of learning how to be a person adult um what have you it's been an amazing source of strength and love knowing that i have each and every single one of you in my life knowing that i have your support your confidence your your belief thank you to, to each of you to the lurkers <laughs> and and to all of you that have left a hype comment i Fucking love you guys. Thank you. So, in the end, I built a city for a spider. But it didn't really fit that it was a city for her to dominate. I like to think that, at first, the inhabitants were struck with fear when Scarlet emerged, but soon realized she was not a threat to them. While her web can get in the way sometimes, she is a master at pest control <laughs> and defends against the monsters that loom at night. Gradually, over time, they've come to respect her and develop alongside her. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please, please share it with a friend. And as always, 